were coming aboard the Saskatchewan Tour of the Town's bus ride. As we approach the town of Mikado, you will notice on your right the local curling rink, surrounded by mailboxes. On your left, a field of wheat, and straight ahead, a dead-end sign. And that pretty much sums up the town of Mikado. Welcome aboard, honorable judges, guests, and fellow parachers. In most cases, when asked where one's hometown is located, I found that most Saskatchewanians rely on two key words, grid, road. Rewind to the beginning of the world. God said, let there be light, and he created day. Fast forward to 1905, when God said, let there be wheat, and Saskatchewan was born. <coughs> so, we went with it. Creating towns, our two major cities, Regina and Saskatoon. From there, our city sizes went down, and so did our naming ability, which is why we are stuck with towns such as Elbow, Eyebrow, Baloney, I mean Belgoni, <laughs> Indian Head, Churchbridge, and just when you thought we couldn't get any bigger than Broadview, we created the town of Bigger. <laughs> the modern world sees Saskatchewan as the number one place to farm, which makes sense seeing that the only thing they see is flat land, which never seems to end. So where exactly are the people? Small town Saskatchewan, that's where. Small town meaning, yes, that little thing of trees is a town. Even if your town is so small that the welcome to and thank you for coming to is written on one sign. <laughs> Even if your town is so small that when you plug an appliance into a house, into your house, the main street lights go dim, you're still a town. As long as you've got mailboxes, you're on the map. But Saskatchewan wouldn't be Saskatchewan without the people. Let's put it this way. In Saskatchewan, there are two kinds of people. Those who are rednecks and those who wish they were rednecks. <laughs> Let me begin by explaining my roots. Take a look to your right, where you will notice a 25-foot statue of a Ukrainian dancer and a sign which reads, Best tasting municipal water in Canada. <laughs> Two sure clues that you have just arrived in Kenora, Saskatchewan. Kenora is home to every Ukrainian immigrant in the province. Not only do I know every Ukrainian in this town, but I'm also related to every Ukrainian in this town. Kenora has a population of 2,000 people, one resident being my Baba. And let me say, nothing beats Baba's small town cooking. In Kenora, anything is possible, and new gadgets catch on faster than lightning. Take, for example, shoehorns. Baba thought, wow, a shoehorn. No more grandkids ruining the backs of their shoes. And before you knew it, the whole town had one in every size and color. Coming from the horse family, we are always trying new muscle rubs and mix, meant to be used on horses. However, when Baba got her hands on the most effective one, Long story short, it's now being sold in her local pharmacy. <laughs> Baba is only one example of a good time in Saskatchewan. But we all know the type of people I'm referring to. Heck, we are the type of people I'm referring to. The ones who carry toilet paper in their glove compartment, just in case. <laughs> the ones who have a recipe for prairie oysters. The ones who consider appealing lingerie to be a clown lady in a pair of tube socks. <laughs> We Saskatchewanians are doing whatever we can possible to get the opening of whitetail season on the calendar as a national holiday. <laughs> but in the end, we're just doing our best to feed the world one wheat kernel at a time. And to keep that tradition going, we keep our youth well educated. However, I have been hearing some troubles about making studying a priority. See, when it comes down to studying, them city slickers are always caught with a video game controller and a new tape teen magazine in their hands. While us small town sass kids are constantly distracted by the bargain hunter and the new edition of the western producer. <laughs> Our parents do want us well educated. And sure, a doctor or lawyer would be great. But us small town sass kids know that to make the family proud, you're aware of the farmer who installed a counter binder in his combine fully driven wheat flatter with a square head hydrostatic coupler using a universal bushing degreaser and only left five inches of clearance between the kernel rotor and the straw regulator must have been off his rocker during harvest. <laughs> oh, and while we're on the topic of grain, turn your attention to the left, where you will notice a classic grain elevator. More popular back in... Oh, looks like the windows are icing up from the inside again. All right, I'll pass around the scraper. Please, everyone, take
appreciate your turn. What a perfect example of a winter scenario. Let's take this time to cover the four Saskatchewan seasons. Almost winter, winter, still winter, and construction season. <laughs> During almost winter, mothers spend time sewing Halloween costumes and making sure they fit over their children's, their children's snowsuits. During winter, driving is so much smoother because all the potholes are packed with snow. Still winter is that marvelous time of year when you get a glimpse at the ground as only patches of snow are left until you wake up the next morning to the worst blizzard of the year. Construction season, well, I'm pretty sure that one sums up itself. Let's face it, the cold weather doesn't really phase us anymore. So when it's so cold that the polar bears begin to evacuate the Arctic, our Boy Scouts postpone winter survival classes until it actually gets cold enough. Oh goodness, looks like a classic Saskatchewan traffic jam. As soon as the combine and tractor crew in front of us turns off to another road, we should be back on our way. In the meantime, let's summarize how to tell the difference between someone who's from small town Saskatchewan and someone from another location. It's quite simple really. Let me give you some advice. Someone from small town Saskatchewan would never say, Honey, I think we should sell the pickup and buy a family sedan. Someone from small town Saskatchewan would never say, So, I hear the bond spiel is going to be alcohol free this year. <laughs> Someone from small town Saskatchewan would never say, All of these deer heads are detracting from the decor. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Well, folks, we seem to have hit a deer. But don't worry, I've got my taxidermist on speed dial. We should be able to salvage the antlers. <laughs> we will be cutting our trip a bit short, but I hope you've all enjoyed your time and learned that no matter how cold it gets, no matter how small our towns are, and no matter how redneck we remain, small town Saskatchewan is truly the place to be. <laughs>